What if I told you that everything in life as you know it was a lie? That there really is an afterlife once your time on earth expires. That the Bible is a hoax. That the majority, if not most, were rewritten stories from a much earlier era. The panic, the shock, even the terror would overload your pr pr program so, so circuitry like the number 666 being the mark of the beast having seven heads and ten horns coming out of the sea these parables were written to impact your anxiety like the number seven means completion some say it means perfection six is just one short but takes us in the totally opposite direction below the deepest subterranean basement to that uninterrupted fire where they say that satan is busy torching and tormenting those for breaking and forsaking all 66 books from genesis to revelation man if this shit were really real we would all be facing damnation but the truth in hieroglyphic form was subtracted from this equation <laughs> if you really think about the bible though and christianity and how it was bestowed upon our ancestry we were forced to follow it after the birth of the initial colonies and it was written into law whether slave or free and it disconnected us from the base of our original spirituality but see knowing the messenger you got to hear this people i said knowing the messenger are you really listening knowing the messenger and all of his devilish treachery why would he introduce us to a god that could exalt us over he i mean for all of you who really don't understand it why would the Europeans teach us to obey while breaking all 10 of the commandments? Man, this is not my battle to fight. But see, one of these days and nights, that light bulb is going to go off and your mind will finally take flight. And I pray that it takes you to that place where you will soon see the birth certificate that was created in 325 AD. And let the record reflect that the number 666 stands for six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons of that carbonated mix. Now, I didn't come to rebel rouse, believe me. I just came to spit the facts. So this Sunday afternoon, when your preacher finishes hooping, hollering, and collecting that offering, you can tell them to sit down, count their money, and relax. Because all that singing, dancing, and speaking in tongues, regardless of how good you think it makes you feel, know that... Serapis Christianos, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, really isn't who you think he is.